Okay, we'll go ahead and get started. Again, my name is Brandon. I'm a meteorologist here with the National Weather Service in Raleigh. I'll be doing the uh, weekly weather impact briefing for Central North Carolina, covering the following week and the weekend. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone for attending, and uh, it looks like uh, today will be probably today and the end of the period will be our warmest days of the um, of the uh, upcoming week into the weekend. Uh, taking a look, if we go on to our next slide, looking at this week's weather pattern, uh, we do have um, you know, an area of showers that's uh, exiting the area right now. It's associated with a cold front moving across the region. Um, very little fanfare other than a few showers is expected with this uh, system. And uh, temperatures for the most part will be uh, mild today, especially compared to uh, uh, temps uh, coming up uh, for the remainder of the week. Uh, but generally dry conditions are expected uh, behind the uh, cold front and uh, below normal temperatures. Uh, once we get to the weekend, we're going to see a frontal system approach from the uh, west, and that should give us uh, increases, increasing chances for showers and maybe even a few thunderstorms uh, with everything remaining uh, as it stands now in a uh, uh, fairly warmer pattern with uh, just showers. Could get a decent amount of rain, though, so we'll have to see with that. Uh, with regard to any severe storm potential over the next coming days, again, uh, can't actually rule out a few lightning strikes across far eastern North Carolina, really to the east of our area. Uh, no severe potential is expected, and again, will be dry for Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, taking a look at the uh, expected uh, precipitation, uh, we'll need to go, other than some of the lingering showers today across our very far east, uh, take a look at this weekend when we should have a good chance for some showers and possibly even a few thunderstorms. Uh, it still is tropical season. We're in the last week of it, so uh, there is no uh, tropical systems expected during the next five days, and um, that hopefully and should be put to rest for the season for Central North Carolina. Taking a look at the 8 to 14 day temperature and precipitation outlook, uh, with the expected precipitation near the uh, end of the period, more so this weekend, uh, that's why you're seeing the above normal probabilities and uh, even some above normal probabilities there for temperature with the uh, um, more mild air mass expected by uh, this weekend, especially uh, just ahead of the front. Uh, though temperatures in the triad will still be uh, obviously cooler than they will be in our southeast, but uh, we still should see locations, even in the triad, probably get up into the 50s uh, for highs. Again, this should be an all-liquid uh, liquid event for us. Uh, just a quick summary here. I do have one little uh, bullet in there. There is some minor river flooding still ongoing along the Roanoke River from releases. Uh, no other river flooding is expected at this time. Uh, scattered light showers, again, moving out of the area really this morning. Um, Cold and generally dry conditions are expected for the remainder of the work week with a good chance for showers late or really Saturday afternoon into Sunday and warmer. And you can see there the uh, little uh, five-day icon forecast for the remainder of the work week, again, today being the warmest day. And those uh, temperatures are going to be uh, noticeably cooler, uh, generally uh, below normal, even if we were in the dead of winter in January. So, uh uh, in the Raleigh area, we would expect highs uh, of around 50 with lows around freezing in the dead of winter. And you can see those values are, uh, especially for your highs there on Tuesday and Wednesday, um, uh, well below normal, especially for this time of year. And with that, I will take any questions anyone might have. I already see one question in there. And that question is, let me uh, read over it here. Uh, will the snow in the Great Lakes area in Illinois, Michigan, impact the Carolinas later in the week? Uh, well, some of the um, snow that's going on uh, uh, today is actually with a system that's moving across our region right now. Uh, there will be another system, another kind of potent system that's going to move into uh, that part of the country that will be associated with the um, with the rainmaker for this weekend. So uh, I don't anticipate any... Um, any winter weather during uh, during this period. Uh, there is a small chance that we could have something um, well out ahead of the uh, the cold front this weekend, uh, 
uh, but it's such a low probability and right now it looks like it would probably be in the form of some cold rain if it occurred and that would be Friday. Again, probability that's so low it's not even in the forecast at this point. Any other questions? Okay, thank you for, um, thanks everybody for dialing in. And uh, again, we'll have a, uh, another weekly weather impact briefing next week. Same time, same place. Uh, have a good week and stay warm.